there. Samantha Zero here. I made a couple of changes, let's call them upgrades, to my game room that I wanted to share with you guys because I talk about game display a lot. I enjoy game collecting. I love, I love collecting video games, but I love displaying them. My game room is like, it's an homage to my love for video games and I'm going to be doing a game room tour soon, so stay tuned for that. But I wanna show you a couple of the upgrades that I made to my game room to maybe give you guys some ideas of what you could possibly do to, you know, upgrade your game room. And I'd also like to hear some feedback. What do you guys like? What do you don't like? What have you tried? Let me know in the comments down below, but let's go ahead and get started. posters up? Did I want to hang up different knickknacks that I've purchased throughout time? I have like these little Pez dispensers, these little like Nintendo Hot Wheels. Like what do I do? What goes in this space? And what I find works best for me is to sit in my game room and kind of just look around. You know, mostly in silence, sometimes while watching a video, sometimes watching other videos to get, you know, some inspiration for it. But I was sitting in here and probably no more than less than a week ago, it kind of dawned on me. I was like, I, I want somewhere to display controllers. So the first place I go is amazon.com. I type in uh, wall mounted controller holders or something like that. And to my surprise, there is a ton of options on there. And one of the first ones I came across had great reviews. It looked like it had a little grip on it. You could buy them in packs of four or six, and I ended up buying 12 because I wanted to display as many controllers as I can. And I did just that. My order arrived and we hung them last night. I think the results are pretty awesome. And I kind of wanted to just share that process with you, just kind of figuring out, you know, what you guys like and showing you what I like. And so the results are here. is still a little bland and I haven't decided how I want to spice that up first I thought lights then I thought you know putting little figures around it maybe some of my little like light buddies going around it like my Mario guy right there maybe you can't see it you guys right here I don't know what I want to do um, if you guys have suggestions I would love to hear it I I'm kind of lost right now I think I could fit a few more controllers if I wanted to the whole dynamic of this wall is I my door is pretty much open almost all the time. And so with that in mind, that wall is going to be blocked most of the time. And behind the door, I'm probably just going to add some posters. But let me know in the comments down below, what do you think I could do to spice up this wall? And what do you think of the, the mounts? Um, I'm going to go ahead and leave the link down below to what Amazon like product I bought for that. They're working really well. You can actually even screw them into the wall. You can either use the sticky or the screws. I elected for the screws because I felt like it was probably a little more sturdy. So the second thing I did is I was getting really frustrated with my cord management system. I bought these drawers from Walmart um, and filled basically the entire bottom portion of it. And my go-to move for these drawers is to put all of my cords into Ziploc bags and label them. And for a while that was working for me. It, you know, it keeps all the cords separated. You can put 
put like all of your Xbox hooks up, hookups into like one bag. But the problem was is despite how many times I tried to keep it organized and, and knowing where things are, every time I needed just one cord, I ended up tearing out between two to four drawers just to find the one. So it really wasn't working. I would recommend Ziploc bags if you're keeping like controllers in a basket that tends to get dusty because that, those bags will keep that dust off of them. But for cord management, I don't. I don't recommend that. It's been a big pain in the rear. I make a big mess. So I pretty much x that. So I had to think, what do I do next? So I ended up wandering around the Dollar Tree and finding their little organizer baskets. And it turns out that at least two of them will fit into my wide drawers, which is where I keep the majority of my cords. I do have smaller drawer systems that I actually use for my extra controllers as well. And that's been working really well with some of those like Velcro wraps that you can use to keep those cords managed. So I, I ended up buying all these baskets and I ended up separating them all into different categories. This is for PlayStation, this is for Xbox, this is for Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64, handheld chargers. And I think it's working way better. You can open up the drawer and you can just pull out the basket and pull what you need out of it and put it back. I actually ended up buying a Velcro roll so that I could go ahead and manage those cords within the basket. And I've actually been able to do that with some of my baskets already, but I had to order more from Amazon as well. This is a Velcro reel that you can cut to size and it's huge. I think I only paid like 12 bucks for it. I would heavily recommend buying these, or if you have a, a local Harbor Freight near you, they actually sell rolls with a little bit thicker dimension that you can also cut to size. If you're looking for other channels to give you inspiration on what to do in your game room, I definitely want to keep making videos like this where I'm kind of showing my process and what things and tools that you can use maybe to get your game room to the point where you want it to be, but I would heavily recommend Discard. And Retro Rivals actually, they do a lot of videos where they talk about things and projects that they've done. I personally do not have the skill set that either of those two individuals have and I envy them for it. But they made this really cool controller wall where they actually have the plugs into the wall so you can charge your controllers as they're sitting there. And that is something that mine is missing. I could probably build some sort of like little box to like run cords up into it and maybe that's something I'll do in the future. For now I just wanted them displayed and easily grabbable so that I can just grab them, sit on the couch, and play my games. A lot of my wired controllers, like I said, they're in those plastic drawers, and that's working pretty well for me for now, but I'm not counting out doing other things. And so uh, there was actually this controller tower that Discart talks about numerous times. I thought that was pretty cool. I unfortunately don't have the room for it, but it's this kind of tower that you can put wired controllers on, and I believe you can even buy attachments for it to run charger cords up it. And so. Your options are not limited. Rose Colored Gaming is a really popular website for game display and they even make little mounts for like special edition controllers. That website is a little bit outside of my price range in terms of what I'm trying to achieve with my game room. But if you like those really cool, like unique pieces to put in your game room, I would heavily recommend going to rosecoloredgaming.com. I'll also put that in the description down below. What I would encourage you guys to do is try your best to think outside of the box. There's a lot of things that I've used for my game room that probably weren't meant for that. For example, I used a shot glass case for my Game Boy Color games and Game Boy Advance games to display them. I use picture frame holders to display my handhelds. Walk around some hardware stores. Um, you know, if you're having to go out with your significant other and you're bored, walk around the aisles. Kind of look around, see what you can use. Just because it's meant for one thing doesn't mean you can't use it for another. Get creative. This, this is your game room. This is my game room. Have fun with it, guys. Um, and I hope you guys took something from this. I hope it was entertaining for you. Like I said, leave a comment down below. Is there something that you are really proud of that you did in your game room? Or something unique? Or something that you've used that you don't think other people are using to display their things? Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you have good game hunting. Man, I need to really figure out a catchphrase.